Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. I'm here with Lewis, and we just watched all four hours of the Oscars. And rather than uh, just uh, leave a four-hour video, I'm trying to see if I can fit in this little quick recap of the two best moments of the Oscars, which Lewis and I watched. Uh, look, it was great to see Christopher Nolan finally win. I liked that Oppenheimer won. Barbie really got shut out, aside from Billie Eilish. Uh, it was great to see Emma Stone actually win, too. Uh, so there was some really good parts. Uh Overall, though, the two big – oh, and seeing I – I got to give a shout-out also to Robert Downey Jr. winning was, without a doubt, a really good speech and moment. But I, I never thought the, the standout for me would be John Cena, not Jimmy mm. Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel was very mediocre. This bit with John Cena, to me, was very funny. As, as Jimmy Kimmel was talking about uh, some of the most iconic Oscar moments, he relived the streaker bit. And uh, he did this little bit right here, waiting for the streaker to come out. What? <laughs> I can't uh, come, come on, down. remember the, the streaker? Someone's going to streak. Thing. Do the thing. Excuse me for a second. And now, Jim, I got to start and stop to not get uh, dinged by the Oscars. But what? trying to redo the What's streaker. What's going on? You're supposed to run across the stage. I uh, changed my mind. I don't want to do the streaker bit anymore. I don't want to do the streaker <laughs> bit anymore. I changed. Cena is so good at comedy, guys. He's great. You don't want to do the streaker bit anymore. What We're do you doing mean? It. I just don't feel right about it. Man, this is, it's an elegant event. It's an elegant event. You should feel shame right now for suggesting such a tasteless idea. Oh, it's supposed to be funny. The male body is not a joke. Mine is. The male body is not a joke. Mine is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, you. He's so seriously owning this bit. Wrestle naked? Why not? You wrestle naked? Why Dude, not? I wrestle naked? I wrestle in jorts. I wrestle in jorts. <laughs> jorts are worse than naked. Jorts are worse than naked. <laughs> Come on. And now it's what's funny. You're really not going to do this? You're not right, going to do it. Just give out the award then. Just God. give out the award and notice how they have a much bigger award envelope oh, than usual because the worst. John Cena really sells this bit. And I found this. <laughs> wow. Look, can you imagine this, Lewis? He had the gall. Look at it. I don't even see any like fake like string or anything. Like Margot Robbie, everyone's losing it. <laughs> Man, good for John Cena. And then, like, weird flip-flops as he goes across. <laughs> costumes. Those costumes. <laughs> are important. Costumes. They are so important. They are so important. Maybe the, the most, most important thing there is. <laughs> Bravo to John Cena. That bit yeah. was hilarious. Uh, but then there was one other quick moment I wanted to call out, which was the reunion of Danny DeVito and, Al and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lewis. This was great. And of course, they used this opportunity. We both tried to kill the reason we were here, we both Batman. tried to kill yeah, Batman, yeah, yeah. Yeah. which even yeah, I, Lewis and I didn't remember. I, 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 the penguin, the penguin. And Batman returns. And that was yeah. Mr. Freeze and Mr. Batman Freeze. and Robin. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, they do a little bit. Yeah, he's really. Batman, that son of a stupid. bitch. Where is he? Batman, that son of a bitch. Where is he? <laughs> I hate him. Here he is. I hate I hate him. Him. He's right here. <laughs> He's right here. Dude, you this is better than The Flash, Lewis. <laughs> I want to see this movie. <laughs> I have a lot of nerve to show your face well, yeah, you got, you know, but no. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Breaker. <laughs> and then <laughs> Michael Keaton's like, God, I'm going to see you after the governor's <laughs> ball. <laughs> Pow, pow. Uh, and then what was what made this bit even more amazing was the fact that Godzilla minus one got the direct the the the, uh, the win for visual effects. Look at him flipping out. Oh, this was so epic. And a fun fact: this was the first direct second director to win a Oscar via visual effects. The last one being Chat. Stanley Kubrick for 2001. So what an amazing honor. I forget his name, but the director of Godzilla Plus One, which minus one, which I implore you all check out, guys. It's a fantastic, yeah. the best Godzilla movie, I would argue, Lewis. Uh, so well made, so well done. Go check out uh, Godzilla Minus One. Yeah. Kudos to that team for winning and how fun that he got to nerd out and go up there with the twins. Uh, he gave a really nice speech. But overall, Lewis, I got to say, uh, Jimmy Kimmel was pretty disappointing. There was a funny bit where he read one of Trump's own tweets, uh, interestingly enough. But I got to say, I think Trump was right. Uh, he was he was one of the worst hosts in a while just because it was very unfunny. Uh, but what did you have? Any thoughts from you overall? Anything else I missed? 
Well, it was Truth Social, the other uh, thing, if that even matters. But uh, John Cena tomorrow is going to be the talk of the town, I think. I'll be yeah. shocked if he's not. The, it, I, I've never seen him act that funny. He's so good. Uh, yeah. there. So I'm a really big fan of John Cena. Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course, getting, you mentioned that, getting together with Danny DeVito. What a great uh, improv or whatever you want to call it with uh, the original Batman, Michael Keaton. I thought he was pissed for real when I was looking at that. But no, it looks like it was a skit. Now, uh, on the Godzilla... But then here's a quote. Trying too hard, Trump unleashes on Jimmy Kimmel and rant, saying Oscars are rigged, and uh, he was right. the worst host yet. He has, to, has there been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? His opening was a lot less than average. People tried too hard, which is not... I, and look, I, 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 he was not the best host. Go ahead. What were you going to say, though? <laughs> With Godzilla minus one, um, I, I'm a little different than you. I think... That moment was great for another reason. We got to hear Arnold Schwarzenegger add to his phrases, uh, you know, I'll be back. Uh, I lied or let out some steam or get in the chopper. Now we could say Godzilla minus one. Hearing Godzilla, <laughs> hearing Arnold Schwarzenegger say the word Godzilla is is going to go down in history. One of the biggest. Godzilla. I thought that would never happen. Godzilla. I want to see it in a movie. Yeah, it's you got to put that in somewhere. Somewhat Arnold Schwarzenegger Godzilla. said Godzilla, dude. Godzilla. Uh, it's true. I don't even think he said the one minus one. one. He just said Godzilla. Well, I cannot stop an Oscar recap without also calling out the amazing, um, This even Lewis was turned. Uh, yeah. Props to Ryan Gosling. Him and his entire uh, Ken cast, Simu and others showed up as he did the whole I'm just Ken live with his cat. It was it was really, really fun. I got to say, Slash showed up. He got Greta and Margot to sing along from the audience. He got Emma Stone from his La La Land castmate to sing. This this surprisingly was really well fun. Everyone was flipping out. There's Greta Gerwig flipping out. Uh, kudos to Ryan Gosling. He just looked like so fun. And uh, there's the moment where Emma Stone broke her dress while they sung together. Uh, but I, I apparently Ryan was was debating whether he wanted to do it, and it took Greta and, and Margot to say, you got to go do it live, and then he finally agreed and did it, and kudos to him. Just like John Cena, I think, looked really amazing. Uh, Ryan looked like he was having a lot of fun. He was smiling, clearly just yucking it up and embracing it, and everybody was loving it. There's Emma singing with him. Uh, it, this was this was where you want to celebrate the movies. Billie Eilish did a good performance, too, but... um. Overall, I'd say the Oscars was pretty boring, Lewis. Uh, pretty pretty lame. Jimmy Kimmel did not lift. I would say John Mulaney was way funnier. He did a sound during Best Sound. He did a bit. I would like to see him host next year. Uh, I'm, Kimmel didn't bring. He was too safe. A lot of just dumb puns. Uh, I don't I don't hate Kimmel like everybody else. He does get a little political for me. But overall, I would say mixed bag this year at the Oscars. But good for Nolan and Oppenheimer getting it. Downey Jr., Killian Murphy, kudos to them. And Emma Stone, I think they gave it to good people. And uh, I props to Ryan Gosling for getting to sing, even though they didn't get to win. Uh, overall, I would say, yeah, it was an interesting show. And we had so many of you guys watching still. Uh, thanks to everybody who watched our recap and our live stream. We'll be doing a lot of these more. So make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for all alerts. Let us know you want to do more if you want to see us do more of these live streams where we start and pause and offer our commentary along these shows because they're a lot of fun to do. Also, make sure you support Lewis over at Nerd Report, my favorite. Always a pleasure. Thank you for being here, buddy. Uh, and make sure to subscribe to him for real. He does a lot of really good stuff. And while I have you, make sure to subscribe to my movie channel, Movie World Plus, where I do a lot of movie content if you like this. We'll be back with more pop culture content. we got some special guests, including Lewis and others, helping me this week. So stay tuned. Keep watching. And thanks all so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your night, everybody. Thanks for being here. We'll see you soon. Yeah!